my name is Tiffany, and welcome if you're new here, and welcome back if you're already part of the family. Tonight we're going to try that um, Swiss Chalet pot pie that I was talking about if you watched my um, latest food bank uh, haul video. Uh, so I figured it's time, I've been waiting long enough, it's time to try this and see how it is. So we're going to try that tonight, and we're going to dive in uh, and see how it is. So if I'll, give me a second here. So there you go, if you all remember, it is a Swiss Chalet chicken and bacon pie. So that's what we're going to do tonight for hubby and me. And it looks really, really good. It says about 25 minutes, so if I turn it over, you can see here it says, Bring the great taste of Swiss Chalet home. Craving something really delicious? This a uh, flavorful pot pie is loaded with chicken morsels and a creamy white sauce with pieces of real bacon adding a tantalizing smoky flavor. A gourmet delight ready in minutes. So, and it actually is. There's the cooking instructions. So in about 25 to 30 minutes, we'll have a nice pot pie. I don't know if you guys, do you guys have Swiss? Yeah, Swiss Chalet is uh, Canada and U.S. I don't know if it's overseas, though or not but yeah so I decided that tonight this is what we're gonna have for dinner so I will let you know how it turns out once I get it in the oven so we'll be back in a moment guys okay so I am now sitting down with my pie on my lap here so let's try it got a nice little piece here Mmm, that is so good. It reminds me so much of going to Swiss Chalet with my family when I was growing up. So flavorful. The crust is so nice and cooked very evenly. Now, I had to read the instructions a little bit closer. And since it was frozen, I had to cook it for an hour. So if it's you get it fresh from the store and you don't freeze it, and because I guess it's in the refrigerator section, um, if you don't cook or don't freeze it right away, you cook it for 25 minutes. But since it was frozen, it had to obviously be, and you don't thaw it once it's frozen. So uh, if it's frozen, you cook it for about an hour. But oh my goodness, this is so good. I can't wait to dive into the rest. So I'm going to leave it at that and finish my dinner. And I hope you all enjoy this little tiny review. And... If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any more fun and family chaos. And uh, have a great night, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.